Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to teach you how to effectively farm materials to unlock all the strand fragments now that they are all out, while in the process upgrading your Nimbus ranks to fully max out all of their gear and unlock the new red borders and get the new patterns for the three weapons that they have. So it's pretty easy to do and I'm gonna teach you all how to do it. Also, when you're done with this farm, you should be able to get the new quest for the sidearm, which is actually pretty busted in PVP. I hear so can't wait to try that out so hopefully we can before it gets nerfed uh, but it's pretty easy to farm it really just goes off of terminal overload and you actually need to do terminal overload for the exotic glaive that's for this season but you can also farm those materials pretty easily like I was saying and just get tons of rep using kind of a glitch if you remember the old menagerie thing where you go into a different zone then come back you can effectively just absolutely juice your character. You get a pretty good amount of XP. So you'll rank up Nimbus very fast from this. While the all the while you're doing terminal overload, you're gonna just do bounty. So I'm gonna try to hopefully get a decent lobby here. Maybe there's some people doing it. I know it's late, it's like uh, a 1 a.m. But we seem to have this pretty much done. They're on the second to final boss, but pretty much you're gonna load in and you're just gonna do this encounter while doing some patrols so uh i'm gonna look for a patrol here i'm actually just gonna shoot the boss i'm not even really gonna fully contribute um since they're not totally on the end here hopefully my frames don't drop too hard because uh that uh, is not the way to go it's literally over there anyway yeah uh ever since lightfall came out there's been some absolute garbage stability issues but that it that's kind of expected with new releases but yeah, you can just pretty much just do these patrols, turn them in pretty quickly, get eight strand things. I even ranked up with Nimbus, so there you go. Actually need to for my powerful gear, trying to get it up as high as possible. While you're here, you could even put on the mod for your ghost. That will unlock some of these, or show you some of these chests or some of the materials. I'm just gonna try to help bake them a little bit here. Okay, it does not work how I thought the melee does. Just kind of unlock Strand Titan here, so don't bully me too hard. Ooh, purple. Nice. Okay, so that is that. Now there should be the big boy now. Actually, the Strand Super does pretty good damage as well, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm even going to pull my ghost out and look for more patrols. Oh, let's just do that ghost one again. That's a pretty easy one, eh? You know, just go to the location. Pretty simple. Where do we have to go this time? Pretty far, but if you have the grapple ability unlocked, uh, you can pretty much just grapple everywhere. Um, it, the cooldown is pretty long. Nice bounce off that, but it's fine. Uh, so you can pretty much go anywhere. This works better with three people. You guys can spread out quite a bit. But yeah, we're just going to pick up these patrols. I would also say there are these gold patrols. I don't know if they're called like legendary ones or whatever you want to call them. But if you do those as well, those will give you a weapon or just a legendary in general, and you will get some good materials as well. So yeah, just keep, kind of keep farming this. I don't want to keep you guys too long, so I'm hopefully we're going to kill this boss soon while I grab these patrols. But yeah, I'm essentially just going to... I just like to use Wither Horde for passive damage, so I, I'm helping without actually being here. Let's see. Oh, shit. I wanted to switch my weapons. Well, this is ridiculous. I'm dead. Anyway. <laughs> pretty low power, I guess. And that kind of helps me out anyway. Whatever. Not too upset about it. Should be a grapple point there. Kind of give me some speed. If you want to use an Eager Edge Sword as well, you definitely can and skate around the map. Let me know what you guys think of Lightfall so far as well. I would like to know what you guys think about it. I will be having a review of it somewhat. Oh, also, yes, another thing. I'm glad I got that. When you're doing these patrols, you will get Terminal Overload keys. That'll allow you to get the bonus chest at the end of Terminal Overload. And essentially means better and more loot for you, at least for one of the runs. So that's very, very nice. I got just got absolutely decimated by the boss, which I can't even blame him. Wow, I'm actually surprised I stuck. If I had my super, this guy'd get baked. This super actually does quite a bit of damage. Oh, I actually thought that was something else. Anyway, I'm going to look for another one. Uh, that one's a kill. That one's a kill mission. The one with the, the diamond. And the little four triangles in the corners. 
It's a good one to do as well. I mean, that guy has that thing. I kind of want to pick that up. Dude, my frames drop here. Which is expected, you know? But yeah, 15% there. Start killing shit. I mean, this it's so easy to do. And again, this works even better if you have a full team. Like, we have a good amount of people doing this, which is surprising for, like I said, 1 a.m. Um, especially on, like, a school night, I guess, if you guys still go to, like, public school or just, like, normal school. Anyway, I'm just gonna try to keep helping out. Boss is almost dead. Because there's a, one more cheese that you can do with this. I don't want to pop my super because I want to be able to pull out my sparrow. So now once the boss dies, pretty much two chests are going to spawn here. When you get the ter terminal overload keys, you're going to be able to open this chest. So we're going to go boom and boom. And then you want to get it, get on your sparrow here. And come over here. Sometimes I forget the path. But if you're quick about it and you have like the always on time, you don't necessarily even need this. You can grab it two to three times. Pretty much the OG menagerie cheese, if you remember that, where you'd go into the load zone, you can and ran back. If you're fast enough, you would be able to open the chest another time. Cheese works here. So yeah, once that turn zone, turn around. Let's go right back. Simple as that. Reap the rewards a second time. It's pretty overpowered. You cannot cannot lie about that. It's absolutely broken. But you know what? I am not complaining. And I, it's going to get patched, I, I, I'd imagine. It's kind of how the nature of it goes. Boom. I'm going to just come over. Boom. Grab that. There's the power weapon. And my callus mini tool leveled up. That's another thing as well. When you grab these, it actually levels up your weapons by like 30%. I'm going to see if I can get it a third time. I don't know if I can. Um, we'll see, though. I doubt it. Kind of hope I do. I really want to rank up Nimbus. Because uh, they're kind of the best way of getting some of these weapons. Especially when you get to rank 30. When you get to rank 30, uh, those weapons drop a lot easier. I think they're the, like the only thing that drops from that. But yeah, if the chest icons are still there, that typically means that you're, you got the go-ahead. I'm just going to grapple here, hopefully. And get there in time. I'm not even going to try for the four. It's not really that possible. And I got a weekly challenge, so... Yeah, once you're done farming, I'm gonna I did level up, so I am gonna go over to Nimbus really quick and then show you kind of what you're I'm talking about when it comes to the uh, rank ups. So there is that. Let's also check the rules. Eh, it's not really what I'm looking for, and we'll never know what the other ones are. Hell oh, shit, we'll check them right now. Uh, I mean that's not terrible. The stats on this thing are pretty decent. I would say the biggest issue I have with this thing already is the zoom, but we'll probably do a video on this. Might not be bad. Uh, nobody cares about this weapon. I'm not checking armor right now. Anyway, this is give me a powerful as well, so that'll help juice me up a little bit. So, boom. That's another 200 stray medallions. Uh, you don't get anything for rank 20, but you do get something for 21. You can also do these for get polymorphic shell codes, which I am actually going to do. These are good to grab as well if you care about that rank up, but you should rank up fairly quickly. And uh, I got garbage from that, but that's pretty much it. That's the simplest, easiest way to farm Nimbus rep, get the materials to unlock all the strain fragments, and uh, get those red borders. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope this all helped you all, and uh, I'll catch you all in the next one.